video, I'd like to discuss the institutions of government in Iran. First, we'll begin with the Supreme Leader. Um, the current Supreme Leader of Iran is Ali Khamenei. Um, some of his responsibilities are to appoint heads of the armed forces, head of the judiciary, directors of television and radio, the head of the National Security Council, and then with the Guardian Council, I believe there are 12 members. Six of these members are appointed by the Supreme Leader, so a lot of power there. Appointments. He is also able to appoint the Expediency Council, which can make final rulings on law and issues between the Guardian Council and the Parliament and the leaders of Friday prayers. So the Supreme Leader does not have to come from high-ranking clergy and is also the dual executive of the President. The Supreme Leader is also in command of the very powerful and very wealthy um, group that controls at least, I believe, what, a third of the wealth in Iran, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Next, we have the Guardian Council, which is headed by Ahmad Nadi, um, which contains 12 clergy, um, and they approve candidates for office. Say, if you're approved to run for elected office, or if you're not approved to run for elective office, um, if you're not approved, they will let you know in, like, private why you're not approved, but not publicly. Six of these members in the Guardian Council are appointed by the Supreme Leader, and six are appointed by the Supreme Court. Next is the Expediency Council, headed by Sadek Larjani. There are 35 quote-unquote conservatives, or who would be classified as conservatives, and six people who would be classified as reformists on the Expediency Council. Um, it was created as a result of the 1988 Constitutional Amendment, resolves disputes between Parliament and the Guardian Council, and has the final say on these matters, and can rewrite rewrite legislations and enact policies so yeah it's very important and all these members are appointed by the supreme leader or you know are in this because of a different role in the government they have next up is the judiciary headed by Ghulam hussein Hosseini j um that is the chief of justice of the supreme court Iran, and he was appointed by the Supreme Leader, and then he will appoint other members of the Supreme Court. Main reason for the Supreme Court and courts in Iran are, or for this court is to do religious review based on the Quran. Not review of like what the government in particular is doing, but religious review. Um, not, yeah, like not judicial review, but religious review based on the Quran. I think courts in Iran are based on Sharia law. Next up, the first elected office presenting here, we have the president. President is Ibrahim Raisi. And the president appoints cabinet members and then the parliament approves it. The president is the chief diplomat and has the power to sign treaties in Iran. He is elected by the voters and selected there. Um, has a term limit of two terms. Uh, four years consecutively, and some of the past ones are Mohammed Katami, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, and Hassan Rouhani. Um, they all had tensions with the Supreme Leader, which you know causes conflict when you have that um, dual executive relationship. So. Yeah. And then we have the Majlis which people, I mean, you could consider this the parliament. Um, the head of this is Mohammed Bajer Galibaf. Um, there are 20, 227 people who could be identified as principalists by some people is the name given to them. 20 people who could be, in quotations, you know, some people give the name of them reformists. There are 30 independents and then one seat each for, I believe, what, Northern and Southern Armenians. Northern Armenians get one seat. Southern Armenians get another seat. Then Assyrians get a seat. Jews get a seat. And Zoroastrians get a seat. And it's just to... This is of that original... Um, it was 1908 um, Persian constitution. Which just tries to protect these smaller minority groups. For having a seat. Having representation in the legislature. Um, laws are subject to approval by the Supreme Leader... Of course, um, 
things can be overturned by the expediency council and such. Um, there's power to confirm the cabinet of the president and half the nominees to the guardian council are approved by the Mausoleus. Um, thousands are, were disqualified by the guardian council in 2020. So, you know, a lot of these people who are winning, you know, there's a lot more candidates than the ones who are actually in these elections as they're, they are disqualified. Their final group that we'll get to, government group and all selected, is the Assembly of Experts, headed by Ahmad Janadi. Um, the three major groups, not particularly political parties, but groups in the Assembly of Experts are the Combatant Clergy Association, the Society of Seminary Teachers of Qom, and People's Experts. Um, so the Assembly of Experts has 88 Masters of Islamic Law. Of course, you need to be approved by the Guardian Council to run for this office, but you also need to pass written and oral exams. You serve an eight-year term. And the Assembly of Experts' main role is to choose a new Supreme Leader. There is only one opportunity to choose a new Supreme Leader. So that hasn't been done in, was that, 1989? So, yeah, that would have been about 34 years ago. But they can declare Supreme supreme leaders unable to perform duties so but in this latest term the assembly of experts has not had much to do and these are all the main governmental actors in the islamic republic of iran